this is a graph of the exchange rate between British pound and euros over the last 12 hours so you can see uh, six o'clock six o'clock this morning one pound is around 1.14 euros and what's been happening it's just a general trend the exchange rate going down so at this point here just after 12 o'clock one pound was around about 1.13 euros you can view this over a period of one week here we go one week this is what's happened in the past week you can look at this over a period of month or a year Uh, this one's interesting let's see what happens with this one 10 years of the past 10 years this one going back way back to 2010 but you can see what's happening right from around about 2013 up until uh, around about 2015 it's just been a general trend of the exchange rate going up and uh, around about here the peak I'm just trying to find the peak Seems like the highest it's ever been is that one pound or one British pound being equivalent to 1.44 euros. So far, I've been looking at uh, data uh, comparing pounds to euros. There are other options. If I look at this website here, uh, I'm going to keep that as British pound. I want to compare British pound. Leave that as it is, uh, compare it with, let's say, Indian rupees. And that's data over a period of one year. And it peaks, look at there, it's 10th of March, one pound equivalent to 97 rupees. If I go back, look at back at more historical data, you see lots of variations along here. And then it peaks, and it seems like the highest point in this graph. I'm having difficulty reaching that particular point. So what I can do is I'm going to zoom into this date, somewhere between 2013 and 2014. All right, it's still here, so I need to zoom the other way. Right there. That's the peak that happened on the 29th of August 2013. One pound is equivalent to 106 rupees. If you look at this, if I set this to uh, say 10 years, so going back to 2010, this is the exchange rate between Syrian pound and Bangladesh attacker. Um, suddenly it starts going down and keeps going down. It doesn't seem to be going up at all. And then it's just flattened out. So what's happened here in 2011? If you look up here, I've just done a quick search. War in Syria on Google. So this happened March 2011. And that kind of coincides with what's been happening with this graph. So it seems like where well, it's plateaued over here after 2017, one Syrian pound would get you roughly 0 0.16 taka, which is hardly anything. Here I've written down one Syrian pound is equal to 0 0.16 taka, which I've just taken from the graph. I just want to see how many Syrian pounds I need just to make up 100 taka. So what I need to do is because I'm going backwards, I need to divide 100 divided by the exchange rate. 100 divided by 0 0.16. That gives me 625 Syrian pounds. So I need that many Syrian pounds just to make up 100 taka. Now this one we have uh, is a comparison of the one of the world's strongest currency, the Kuwaiti dinar, with one of the weakest, the Iranian real. You can see even at the lowest point here, which happened um, 31st of March, 
even then, at its lowest point, one Kuwaiti dinar was equivalent to 133,089 Iranian rials.